All right, I told Spitter Mickey this, and I'm gonna tell you, the viewers. I don't know if Lily can be a love interest. I don't even know if there's the essence of having a love interest. But but Lily's it. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can you know like put the moves on her so to speak. But how you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Sorry, viewers. Clem just wanted us to speak for a moment. Anyways. So, you know, I, I got... I'm, I'm probably going to end up sticking behind her because, you know, I, I kind of like her. As a character. Let's talk to Ken, our BFF, who... I... Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Aww. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. I... Kenny, you're, you're such a good friend. I... 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 I, I respect you. The guy in the bear trap. You think we gave up too early? I think if I just had another minute or two. You saw that guy. His leg was completely mangled. Even if you got him out, what then? I had my family in mind, and you gotta think of Clementine. We gotta stay alive for them. Kay's right. Lily has a point about these new people being extra mouths to feed. I know, but maybe the problem isn't that there isn't any food. There just isn't any here. We gotta think about moving on. That is actually a very valid point. Let's hope things turn for the better. Soon. Now there's a statement I can get behind. Also, we gotta ration out the food, and I'm, I, I got an idea who I'm gonna ration it out to. First off, we're gonna talk to Clem here. Cause she's like our surrogate daughter. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, huh? No. You said you didn't think they would find us. Well, yeah, but that's just because... But we can try to find them. Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. I'm glad Lee understands. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? Well, I'm not sure. I hope he will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. That's our cue to give her some food. We gotta take care of the children, man. I mean, they're little. They Here, Clem, they need some need food. To eat. I'm gonna give her the apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. She does. Let's talk to Duck. He's gonna get some food, too. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? <laughs> no. It's a cat, I think. A tiger? You were pretty brave when tiger? we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Aw, oh, she is like the surrogate doctor. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Oh, look at him. He's so happy. Um, how about some cheese and crackers? Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry. That's right. We need to take care of the children. They come first. Let's talk to Lily. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. 
we're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. You know, this kind of reminds me of the Lion King with Scar wanting to stay at Pride War Rock where, like, all the food was exhausted and it's probably a better idea to move, but let's, uh, let's talk about you and we Kenny. We talk about you and Kenny. We're acting as therapists. Us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well... We'll just have to find some. She really is acting like Scar. That, that kind of hurts me because, like I said, I, I kind of like her. Keep an eye out. Fine. Uh, and because I like her, I have to give food to her father, don't I? Oh, I should have talked to, what's his name? New guy. Ben. Yes, Ben. I need to talk to Ben. Hey, is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe we just left Mr. Parker there. I tried. I really did. I just ran out of time. There was nothing else we could do. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The guy in the truck is Travis. He played in the school band with me. Mr. Parker was the band director, but... God, I can't believe we left him. Trust me, kid. It wouldn't have been much better if we did bring him. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. He'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. Welcome to the family, kid. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Yep, that's our new surrogate brother to this group. He's kind of scrawny, but, you know, I'm sure he'll fill out just fine. He survived all this time, you know, for three months, so... There's gotta be some value to him. Anyways, let's talk to Cat. Is he Kat. gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Of course! Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. What were you thinking, bringing him here? Even if he lives, we aren't going to be able to take care of him. It's what your husband wanted. <sighs> Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. <laughs> well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. I guess I see where Duck gets it. Oh man. She's a good woman Stay, though. But it's not gonna hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. Yeah. I was telling Spinner Mickey, I wonder how Kat and Kenny actually ended up meeting. I mean, she kinda has a little bit of an accent. Kenny kind of I don't know, he's kind of a hunter type fisher. I mean, there's gotta be something to that story. I'm curious how they met. I wanna hear that backstory. Anyways, let's Leave look at the Doug to rig up a warning system out of garbage. Oh yeah, Doug's the guy. Doug is the hey, man. <clears throat> What's up, Lee? What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. How does it work? I set up trip lines at four locations, and each one triggers one of these four bells. So. So we'll know where they are and how long we have. Smart. I knew I saved the right guy. Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. <laughs> it was still a good analogy, though. Take it easy, Doug. You too, Lee. Oh, uh, yeah. We can look at this one, too. What's that for? Oh, that, that was my first attempt at making an alarm system. The new version is much more sophisticated. I can see that. Doug is the man. I like Doug. He created an alarm system out of bells and whistles and oh man, Doug is amazing. Will you hold the damn board steady. I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. That is our cue to give him some food. Hey, will the kid make it? I don't know. You know it was an accident, right? I didn't mean to shoot him. I know. 
was crazy back there. Kid acted stupid. Not your fault, Mark. It's not your fault. Here, Here have some food. Eat something. Uh, let's see. Should I give him the jerky or the crackers? I'll give you the crackers. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Mr. Axe? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Oh, no. Oh, man. I, I should give it to Mark, because I have a feeling Larry is going to, uh... You know what? I, I, I have a death Here, wish. This should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. All right, Larry. I'll give you some food. One piece left. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. Yeah. The ones that need it. I should really give Larry some food, but I'm going to talk to Mark first. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Yeah. So that must mean you actually know Lily from work. I mean, she worked at the Air Force Base, right? Lily's pretty pissed at us. Well, what did she want us to do? Just leave a couple of teenagers to the walkers? That's exactly what she should have done. Well, good luck with that wall. We'll get it. All right, Larry. I'm going to give you some food, but I'm going to talk to you first. <sighs> You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Oh, man, he's so grumpy. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Here, have some here, food. Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, wow. I can smell that food over here. I hope you're enjoying that, Larry. Oh, I am. I should have offered that to Doug first, shouldn't I? See, everyone else would have refused it. They would have been like, give it to someone else who needs it. Not such an easy job, is it? No. Aw. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. No. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. They're not. Uh, that was a... Why did I get a mean look? Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was, I was gonna say something. Q, 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 Q. You gotta save Gadget. Oh, man. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Fascist action. He's, he's too close. Too close. To death. I died. Great. 